folks, and welcome to week four of second semester, uh, where we have are formally in chapter nine. Uh, first thing I do want to talk about is if you're interested in retaking anything related to chapter eight, uh, you can retake either the multiple choice test or and or I should say the free response test. If you do the multiple choice, you are not allowed to retake the free response related to that. Um, just the multiple choice portion. So go into the chapter eight folder if you're interested and please read the information about the retake. Uh, the deadline for the retake will be this Thursday at a win one or win two and sign up accordingly for that and get the relearning as you need it. Um, if we look at chapter nine here, uh, we do have a deadline this week. Nice thing is you guys don't have school Friday, I do, um, but the deadline is this Friday the 17th. If you take a look at it, it's going to cover four different folders, including the mid-chapter free response. So all of section 9.1 and all of section 9.2 and the mid-chapter free response needs to be done by this Friday, no later than 3 p.m. Um, what this is going to cover is you're going to learn about these tests and how that they work. Um, and then they're going to introduce you to doing a test of proportions. After that mid-chapter free response is, has been met, um, then you're going to learn about doing tests of the means, and that's kind of how it wraps up. Uh, the one thing you really want to get a good understanding for for these tests is that um, it's the second kind of step after confidence intervals. So constructing a confidence interval, we were kind of talking more formally about state, plan, do, and conclude. In doing that, the state portion of a confidence interval, you don't, technically don't really have to have to state it because if it asks you to construct a confidence interval, that's kind of what the state portion is. Um, the plan is where you check the conditions. The do is where you calculate it out and show your work. And then the conclude, obviously, is how you wrap up your confidence intervals. Well, when you do a test, it's very much a formal four-step process now. So the state component of a test very much exists. It's, it's stating a hypothesis. So you're going to want to formally do your state do your planning your same, checking your conditions. The do portion on this is going to be very calculator driven. Uh, if you use a calculator, make sure you state the, the appropriate information to get full credit. And then the conclusion on this is very much a, a defined kind of just always answer your questions in the same process like you did for a confidence interval. Um, so as you're doing that learning, let me know if you have questions. Um, if you did not get this handout yet, it's a two-page document on both sides uh, on cardstock. It's going to really help you with quick references for this. Now that you, you know two confidence intervals for the means and proportions, now they're going to introduce actually three different tests for you, a test for the proportions, a test for the means, and a test for the match pairs of the means. Um, and in doing that, you're going to have to start remembering, you know, what were the names of it? What are the conditions? What is the calculator? You know, where do I go and do all of that? Um, so this is a very handy document for studying and for doing homework. You're not allowed to use it on a test nor on the AP exam in May. Uh, but if you did not get this yet, please do so. It's a very nice study tool. Um, other than that, there really is not a lot more for this week, but I do encourage you, uh, because there are four folders, including in that mid-chapter free response, um, stay on target this week. You're only in school four days. Obviously, you have Friday to kind of get things caught up. Uh, make sure you're really understanding how to perform tests and reach out to me with any questions that you have. Uh, so have a great week four, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.